Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another AliExpress haul. Um, I do a lot of these on my channel, so I hope you do enjoy them, as I really like shopping, and I like getting new things, so uh, I hope you enjoy this. So this uh, is a bunch of sugars and two chromes. Um, I've kind of just been on this, like, big sugar nail kick. Um, I also really like micro glitters and chromes. Um, if you have watched made my videos i do um, enjoy a lot of the chromes from this store in particular which is full beauty um i also wanted to get some of these like caviar beads in just a lot of different sizes um i did need some more of these tiny little files because i do pedicures and i like to just use the tiny file and throw it away and then i got just a bunch of glitter um this might have been one of those like 3 a.m. shopping things. There was a sale. I kind of threw a ton of stuff in the cart. And that's kind of what happens when you shop late at night. So I thought I would just kind of give you a little bit of a closer look at some of these sugars. When you're dealing with these um, kind of like white type of sugars you kind of look at the reflex. So the first one was kind of a teal gold. This one really didn't have a, a much of one so i'm assuming it's going to be pretty like um transparent this one um is just basically straight teal and then um this one has a bit of a gold reflex to it it's hard to see in the camera i can always swatch these for you in another video because this video is getting a super dupes long and this one has like a bunch so there is a lot of different color reflex going on sometimes they call that a clear hollow i have been looking for a blue chrome like that i'm swatching this in the video just so you know heads up and this is supposed to be like a champagne gold um i'm swatching that as well um anyway these are the glitters up close there was kind of like three orangey coral colors um i really like the selection here there was a lot of range um these were all sold individually but i kind of just got everything that they had because i thought they were really pretty i do like kind of like a multi-cut glitter there's some fine and medium and nothing really too too chunky i do find when like because i'm generally a color on top kind of person i don't like super super chunky glitter so um this was chunky enough for me if you will um and then you know i'm addicted to foils so i had to get some more um there's a lot here and there was a lot in colors that I needed and there was some that I probably didn't need but it's always good to have extras anyway so these are like just shiny metallic there's no hollow or anything um and when they have these uh they tend to all get stuck together so um you will kind of see me go through and realize that there was some stuck to the back um but yeah they are really gorgeous and like i said i kind of really enjoy these like sample pack sizes because you get to kind of see like what ones you really actually use and then yeah if you need more you just buy a full roll of it right um mainly because i have a ton of foils i don't really need a whole lot like i have a ton of silver but whatever more more is better right um and then i did enjoy that there is like um this kind of like bronzy um there's also a coffee brown i actually kind of found that stuck to another one so these three or four i should say there's kind of like a rose gold and like a, a metallic brown and a copper and a gold um i really loved those colors i thought they were really beautiful um i picked these stickers up in particular for kind of like that spring easter vibes um i keep buying stickers i'm totally addicted to stickers um my thing lately is just trying to make sure i find things that are super unique and these were just so adorable like i really i can see myself using these through easter um i picked up this giant pack of hollow stickers they were on sale it was ridiculous um there's so so many of them i will flip through them here for you um my lighting probably isn't the best to show off the hollow 
but trust me, they are all hollow. So there's lots of patterns, there's individual ones, and these are stickers. I thought for a hot minute that they were water decals, but they are stickers, um, and they are very thin. Um, I actually just kind of at the end, I throw one on my nail and I just kind of rubbed it in really good. And it actually stayed on my nail for probably three days and I didn't even top coat it. So, um, that's kind of what I look for in a sticker <laughs> anyway. Um, some of these patterns are super unique and cool. I'm really excited. I got some, there is some like kind of heartsy, um, Valentine's -y type things. So I did decide to kind of set aside some of the more Valentine's -y themed ones. Um, cause I'm going to do a, like a Valentine's basket of nail art stuff. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to show you everything that I put in that basket. Um, there'll be snapping plates and stickers and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to kind of see what I put in it, um, let me know in the comments down below and I will do a video up for that. Like, look at this, these hollow hearts, the so cute um more hollow hearts and like love and stuff like oh it's adorable i'm really excited that i got these stickers um i'm i'm hollow sexual as christine from simply neological would say um and yeah there's just a lot of really great stuff there's some weird stuff i'm not gonna lie um but you know that kind of happens sometime uh, like just some weird words but whatever I'm down for it. Um, I'm sure I'll use it eventually or I'll give it to somebody who will use it. And yeah, so we're coming near the end of these and then I will show you um, what one looks like on my nail and some letters, which I think that's kind of cool. I really liked kind of the old English letters, but I have a stamping plate that does it now. If you saw my last AliExpress haul swatch thing, you will see me use that. Anyway, maybe I didn't show the sticker, but maybe it's later. I got some hollow red hearts because I was thinking about Valentine's Day and I needed some hollow red hearts. And I got these little mini files. Now these are the files that I usually get and they are a little bit bigger, but you know what? I'm not even mad. I do like the small ones and these ones seem to be a little bit more grittier, which is important to me. And so, okay these caviar beads only like four of them these four are actual beads the rest are actually flat back i did not know that but i'm telling you now that they are which i'm not mad at because sometimes those little bead things they just stick up so high that it is actually kind of annoying so it doesn't bother me that they're flat back this is where i show you my sticker on my nail i guess i edited this video really weird sorry about that anyway um, yeah, I just picked up a little triangle, slapped it on there, and I'm telling you, this lasted on my nail for three days. I didn't top coat it or anything. I just kind of popped it on there. It is nice and thin. It would be easily top coated. Don't mind my nails. They need to be filled. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think it's cute. Anyway, swatching the chrome, tried to speed it up for you. I did use my Accents Shine On Attack Free Top Coat, cured it for 15, rubbed this in. I am loving this dark blue chrome. And yeah, it is pretty stunning. This champagne gold one really seems pretty silver to me. Um, but then when I did compare it to some silver chrome swatches that I have, which you will see later on, it does show up as a little bit more gold, but I, the way that they kind of presented it on the website, it did look a lot more champagne goldy, but I think sometimes when there's, if you put it under or over top of a more yellowy color, it would bring out more of that gold. You know how that happens sometimes? Um, but yeah, they were really, really nice. I'm glad I got them. I found all the chromes from Full Beauty have chromed up so nicely and easily for me. So I'm always really impressed with that product. These are the swatches all top coated and let's do a comparison. So on the left is the gold and on the right is a silver. So you can kind of see it is a little bit more gold than that. Um, so these are kind of the blues that I have. Obviously nothing is as dark as it and the only one was kind of a teal. So uh, it is unique to my collection and I'm glad that I got it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later.